No drama, no touching the bottom, that's the rule. So we've left Hilo. Uh, see it under the cloud like Joe Blutzvik from Little Abner. Uh, we had to motor most some of this most of this way. Now under uh, back on Ralph. We're doing uh, 4.7 and 8.6 of wind which is perfect. Uh, we're somewhere between a beam reach and so we're broad reaching. And I've just had a wonderful hot shower and I'm gonna I just found a drink I forgot I had on ice and some bread and cheese and that's gonna be lunch slash supper and I'll sit under the Dodger with the window open get some breeze and we'll see what the night brings over and out This is the calm after the latest squall, and I don't know if you can see the rainbow there, and then squall number four ahead of us. So I'm going to leave the uh, Genoa rolled up. We're a little bit off course, but that's okay, because it'll be better when the squall hits. And we'll wait this one out. This may be the uh, theme for the evening, so I may just leave the... Uh, Genoa rolled up and we'll suffer with the uh, the speed hit. Speaking of which, let's go have a look. Ouch. So yeah, we're down to uh, eight knots of wind and three knots of speed. But We'll let that sit for a few minutes. I've learned to wait. Be patient. 15 minutes, it can all change. I'll report back over and up. And this is as calm as it's been since we left. It's gentle, I guess. And you see the salt crystals on the front of that Dodger window here? That's, that's everywhere. And back here we have a squeaky. little bit of red line you see down there is I retied it make a bigger gap and then I retension it with that paracord so now I can tension the lines when they go slack uh, what else that's about it there's a little squall but uh, we're not feeling any wind from it and Another 900 miles in that direction, and then we can start turning that way towards the Pacific Northwest. Dead ahead of us is the Aleutians, which are actually closer than going to uh, BC. Over and out. Well, we just had a shower about an hour and a half ago, a nap, and I was going to clean the galley, but uh, the wind has come up all, again, all of a sudden again, so I've uh, delayed that. I'm not going to be playing with hot water, etc. So we'll go have a look and see what it looks like, and I'll do a quick tour here of the, the man cave. So there's all my journals and art stuff, a snack box, pills, everything at, is at hand. Laptop, obviously. Nav station, there's the galley that needs a bit of a cleanup. And that's the sleeping side. 
This is the reading side. Oh. All right. Oh, let's go. If I can do this with one hand. And that's the exercise station. You can see here where the true wind is. 17, 19, it was gusting up to 26, so it's slowing down a little bit. Hopefully it was just a bit of a squall. Let's go have a look. Uh, solar panel is doing its thing. We're up to 13 volts, which is good stuff. Uh, the vinegar I haven't put away from cleaning the uh, head lantern in the head, which had some black mold. Keep the... Uh, all weather pants there so I can slip them on. And there's the mess in the galley that needs cleaning. Enough said about that. Alright. Looks like Ralph is struggling a bit. There he goes. Alright. And yes, hard to see through the Dodger here. It's getting sprayed and we're getting salt. I don't know if you can see the salt crystals here, but they're dissolved everywhere in the cockpit and especially going forward. We're down to just the staysail and two reefs in the main. I think you can see from up top we are sailing close hauled. Hello. Can't get any closer to north than we are. Whoa! Shit. That even sprayed me. See, it's not uh, fun on deck in these conditions. So if I do need to do anything on deck, what I do is I turn downwind to calm things down, flatten the boat, do whatever I have to do, and then come back on course. It's a lot safer than crawling forward in these conditions. But it would be nice if this would just calm down a bit. There's a hole. Oh, we missed it. Anyway, it is what it is, as Neil would say. So I can't tell through the dodger here if that's a, just a cloud bank ahead or a series of squalls. We'll find out, I guess. It's been strange because in the same wind conditions we can get seas that are relatively flat or we can get this nonsense. So I'm not sure what causes that but it may be winds further away that's uh, building the seas up and pushing them this way, I don't know. Be a wiser man than me with the answer. 